Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tanya's Tea Time. I'm Tanya. Thank you so much for being here with me. We are going to do a reading um, for Valentine's Day. It might be a little bit before or a little bit after that this energy takes place. Um, Valentine's Day for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Cancer. Cancer. And if this doesn't apply to you, don't try to make it fit. It is general. Um, check your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus signs, okay? Um, cancer. I almost like heard the, the music from the Wizard of Oz. I don't know if some of you guys can relate or it means something to you, the Wizard of Oz. The Sun card. This is a good card. Cancer, it's the best card in the deck. It's success. It's happiness. It's... Man, and it's everything. Um, it's joy. It's feeling that warmth from the universe, feeling blessed. Um, I heard somebody say once um, on another channel um, that the sunflowers um, are the fastest maturing um, flowers and that they're represented often in tarot. Um, something could have just came about and bloomed um, suddenly. The success could come suddenly for you. Let's pull an Oracle card to you for cancer. This is really good. And she, this is what I wanted to bring out. I had a card fall on the floor. I don't pick up from the floor. Um, she's very confident. If you look at, she's looking down a little bit, but she has her, her posture is up. She's very confident about herself. What is this? It's always tea time, eternity, endless moments, repetition. This might be a moment that you just want to put on repeat. This might be so good, this energy around Valentine's Day, that you can't get enough of it. This moment also might be something that affects you for the rest of your life. Not to scare anybody. If this applies to you, if this is your read. Okay, Cancer. Um, in the split, Four of Wands. This is something that is going to make you very, very happy. Or you're very concentrated on your happiness. Going through that door and experiencing that happiness. Going over the rainbow. Like the Wizard of Oz. And it being like a whole new world. But this is like a sudden thing, I think. That's what... Guys, this just came out. It was on your split and it came out. I mean, okay, so this definitely has to deal with your guys' happiness. This definitely has to deal with success. This definitely has to deal with going through that portal, like I said, this archway. Going through and really just enjoying your life, like going over the rainbow. You know, when she gets the eyes, she just can't believe her eyes. She's like, am I really here? Again, Alice, Alice and Alice in Wonderland. It's the Alice in Wonderland Oracle deck. Alice goes through a door and Alice suddenly is in a whole new world. And this might be your case, Cancer. Cancer, you might actually suddenly be experiencing just a whole new world, a whole new life. Empress card, she births a new life. Cancer, your life might not be the same anymore. At the end of feeling burdened by whatever it was that was burdening you before, this is the end. Ten is the end end of feeling burdened. It's the maximum amount before you just have to just put it all down. Two of pentacles on the bottom here. You guys might be juggling something. Juggling, had been juggling a decision, making a decision. I see twos as decisions. A decision that's going to make you happy. Suddenly, fast action, fast movement. Three of Pentacles, working with organi organizations or groups, or this person actually might be like shining a light on something. That I'm going to have to clarify. The Death in Reverse, the Star card underneath. My God. I see like Death in Reverse, like almost like an extreme situation. 
an ending to something. But this is like, I don't feel like this is the end. This says eternity with this card. It's something that's going to affect you for the rest of your life. This is something that you wished for. Something that you wished for. For some of you, this might be like marriage. This might be actually uniting with your emperor if you're the empress. Endless moments, repetition, eternity. For cancer, please. For Valentine's Day, around Valentine's Day, February 2022, please. For cancer, that's why I got that whole Wizard of Oz scenario. Ace of Cups. It has to deal with love. It all has to do with love. And did I not say the emperor? If you're the empress, this is coming together with your emperor. My goodness. My goodness, cancer. Because this is all that she wanted. It's almost like this is completing your house, your home life. This is completing you. This is all that she wanted. You didn't want this to end and it's not going to. You're going to be receiving some sort of quick action, quick movement into and this group setting, I feel like is a family setting. Like I feel like for you guys, this is because this is like she can birth a family. This might be actually receiving news that you're pregnant and you guys are merging families together. This emperor and this empress come together because there's a child involved that's working with a group. <coughs> Sorry. I almost like feel like somebody wants me to shut up. Like, don't let the the cat out of the bag. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, I almost got somebody like I feel like that's why like I coughed like so sudden. Like, I feel like somebody's like, shh. Shut up. I don't want the secret to get out. Sorry. Somebody's watching. Um, I feel like somebody wants to bring in a, a an offer of unconditional love. An offer of, I want to be by your side forever. I want our family to be together. I want to start a family with you. Uh, you make me happy. You are my family. And I feel like that's where that group is coming. It's coming together as a pair, as a unit. Clarify this ten of wands, please. Oh my God. You guys have double sun and victory. I, I don't know how much better this read can get, Cancer. I don't know how much better this read can get. You guys have double sun cards with the victory card victory success 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 if you guys needed any more confirmation about this relationship that you are wondering about this relationship that you feel is solid this relationship moving forward this this is a blessed a blessed union this might be for some of you because I have this Emperor here too and this Star card here. And I have also this Four of Wands here and the Ace of Cups. This is a divine union. This is blessed by the universe. I feel like this is blessed by God. This is a, a union between soul, soul pairs, soulmates. This is, this is a blessed union. I, I don't say that often. I don't know if I've actually ever said that on my channel. Wow. Anything else for cancer, please? Let's let's shuffle one more time. One more time. Let's shuffle. I mean, I just can't even believe these cards. This is beautiful. Give me two more times. Sorry. This is for eternity. This pair is 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 a soul pair. This is a a a union, a blessed union. Yeah, this is like somebody that was in training. 
because they don't have swords, you know, it's like a little chaotic, but they have wands. It's almost like they're training knight of wands, somebody that's moving towards somebody passionately. But this is like, this is at the end. So I have this clarifying. This is at the end of feeling burden, the end of training, the end of this this night energy of feeling passionate. I feel like this is like, okay, we're coming together. We're definitely doing this. We're not joking around anymore. We want that. This is forever, 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 forever. This is, we're committing. This is definitely a high level commitment. You guys, it's not for everybody. This is a, a blessed union. And somebody might be taking this action around Valentine's Day or in the month of February, I want to say, just in general. Hierophant. The Hierophant and the moon. <laughs> this is like uh, shining a light on something, um, being something being illuminated, lit up, exposed. This person is exposing their feelings, their vulnerability. This might even be a realization between this pair. Come on, Cancer. It's like the realization, like, we're going to make this happen. We're doing this. We were meant to be together. We were meant to be. Cancer. I mean, I... It's a beautiful, beautiful reading. I don't have anything else to say. There's success here. There's double sun card here. There's victory here with this pair. This is a perfect match. This is an emperor and an empress energy. This is a strong pair. This is a pair where she's good on her own and she doesn't need anyone to complete her. And he's good on his own. And he doesn't need anyone either. But these two are making the decision to come together. And when these two come together, this is not only a power couple that can achieve anything in the material world, let me tell you. This is also a spiritual couple. And this is also a divinely blessed couple. Okay? So on in every way, shape, and form, this couple, Cancer, is meant to be. Cancer, that's your reading for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know who wouldn't want to claim this read. Claim it, claim it, claim it, you guys. Claim it in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'd love to have you guys back, and I will see you guys on the next one. And blessed be all the Cancers this month.